Because my daughter-in-law messaged me, she's dropping the sun off to finish the renovations. Said, do I fancy B&M? So I was like, why not? So I'm going to vlog that. And I've just found a sticker while I was tidying up. Because I'll be moving tomorrow. Shh, don't tell no one. I've just packed my chairs away. And I've got just enough room lock on this door. And one more. Oh. Try and get it so it just covers a little bit of other people's, but not loads. See anybody on there you like? Get on over and give them a subscribe. Rebecca's my chauffeur today. So we just put a B&M and we're going to have a look about. See if I can get out good for vlogging. So I just said to Rebecca, you haven't got a quid for a trolley, have you? You haven't got a quid. And she went, no, I'll do my key in it. What? Oh, okay. She put you keen in it open. I never ever knew that, I never heard of it in my life. So people, there you go, bit of info for you. Yeah, okay, I'll get you your quid in your trolley. <laughs> Bread, so we thought we'd get an ice cream while we were here. Although everywhere was shut because it's like after six, so we went to McDonald's, didn't we, Rebecca? Yeah. Galaxy ice cream. Who ate all the pies? Who ate all the... You fat butt. Well, my ice cream was lovely. I think it's a bit rougher in Britain than I thought it was. SIA security, security working <laughs> outside McDonald's in Brid. <laughs> I was like, what is that about? Uh, got back from Brid and I just wanted to show you all <laughs> the renovation of the van's finished. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. <laughs> my van, it's pulling my fat pig. I love it. We're changing this front bit, people, by the way, where it says tea, coffee. <laughs> hot dogs and cold drinks and we've got some more stuff like I said to go on I'm buzzing <laughs> well done son cheers <laughs> look how pink it is I love it I got you a gift while we was out go on seeing as you love butterflies so much oh. I, I got you a butterfly oh that is so attacking crap I'm gonna put it I got you a blue one right above your head and I got a pink one for above my head seeing as you love butterflies so much what a load of oh shit and the clipping I'm gonna show you all in a minute when I've put them up she's a bitch see look how beautiful that is I said it clip on there that's the above your seat up. and that's above your seat and you trying to tell your dad the to clip, up, throw them away fly away you'll fly away take your boyfriend home so as you've seen, my butty van's almost finished. Um, it's 8.26 at the night. Now, I'm supposed to be going out tomorrow to see grandkids. It's not happening. They've got a bug. Sickness and diarrhea going about, so I'm not going. So I've decided we're going away. I'm just, I'm not going to show you where I'm going. Stay tuned, because we're travelling tomorrow, people. We're going away for a couple of days, and I'm going to take you with me. I'll catch you in the morning. Very excited now. So, Gareth looks thrilled. Are you happy to be going away, love? No. Morning, it is 6.39. 6.39, love. No. He's thrilled. I'm packed. My van's ready to move. I just need to be on the way out. You brought me up. Holiday. Very excited. You won't even let me sleep last night because you're very excited because we're going on an, an adventure. Ooh. I'm just checking that window to see if it'll close then. Yeah, I did, I closed it. Um, Last thing we want is one of them flying off, don't they? Yeah. Skylight. So I'll stay in the back while we get near the bin and get rid of rubbish before we go because we are off grid in it for a few days. Yeah. Woohoo! You just have you, go away, don't have you? you unplugged the electric wire? I have, yeah. Feet are up. Have you emptied the toilet this time? I've emptied the toilet this right, time. Okay, then we're good to go, I believe. I'm guessing to the left. You think it's coming from left? Yeah. Hey, hey Q's on tour and YouTube family. If you're loving the content, here's a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. Your support means the world to us. No, it's first thing in the morning. It's coming from the right, from Bridlington. Well, I think left. We'll see a wind. <laughs> Ah, yes! 
I never win at this. I'm buzzing. I have me at every track on the way and I win loads of time. I'm happy to be moving people. Leaming spa for a break. I was just talking to Danny and I'd just seen a McDonald's sign. So I'm gonna go see if we can get a McDonald's. It says there's a McDonald's down here. There's definitely a Costa. Oh yeah, McDonald's. Hopefully I can grab a coffee and a double sausage and England thing. Found it. Look at all this parking. He's parked up there and made me walk all the way down here. Is that about? <laughs> Could have just parked down here. We're not quite there. Gareth needs a wee. So we're having a pit stop and we've just pulled in this lay by. I've seen some. I just want to show you all. So I've got it on my camera because it's beautiful. So someone's just passed me in a Bentley with the number plate HRH99. So I'm going to go on Google in a minute and see all that was. I might be wrong, I mean if not that's the best private plate I've ever seen but I'm sure HRH has to be the royal family Ooh. I'm just going to show you all this in a second Look at this What a place to stop for a brew and a whittle It is absolutely stunning This is what motorhoming's all about I mean just look at these views Apart from that Look at that, hey, look where the van's parked. Look at that, stunning. And it's free to park there, people. Me personally, wouldn't have parked there because it's too close to the road. But it's beautiful. I'm going to see if I can get the other side of the river without getting run over. Where we're at at the moment. Uh. <laughs> people, what is this? I had to squeeze in. But look at this bridge. Ah, it's lovely, yeah. <laughs> look at Mrs Tumble up there Look at the size of this gap though Look at that People was clearly a lot thinner than me like back then oh, Squeeze back out I don't know, they're not a single <laughs> Hey Tell you what, this is a good park up actually Yes Because you've got the lay by which is there Yep So what you could do is park in that lay by for the night And if you Point camera over there. I reckon you could walk down this footpath here where you've just been and go down that footpath and you see where all the gravel is down there. Yep. I reckon you get your kayaking river there. Alright. Oh, a paddleboard, paddleboard. I'd wait for it's a bit warmer though. Some people do have inflatable kayaks though. Good park up. It is. It's not where we're staying, but it's a good park up. Put what three words, where exactly where we are. We definitely wouldn't do this, but we know a lot of people who would park here. If it was absolutely knackered, we would, but this is more of a stop during the day, have, some, have a brew and have a nice look and see some Look at my view for night, people. Look at that. I'm buzzing. So I'm just going to go to this cash machine 
cash machine, card machine, and pay it, and I'm going to let you know how much it costs in a second. But the car park's massive. So he's put us in this corner because he said it gets quite busy during the day, the car park, but after 4pm, the park where you want, he says. So after 4pm, I'm going to move here. So I'm flat. And then I've got a nice view of the church. So this is really reasonable, actually. It's I Ayersgar Falls. I hope I'm saying that right. So if you're in a car, it's £1.50 per hour to park. £6 all day, £7.50 overnight. Motorhomes, £2.50 an hour. £10 all day, £12.50 overnight. And as a bonus, you have a, the Falls Coffee House. Gift shop. It does lunch, drinks, ice cream. Buzzing and simple. Well, it should have been. The bloke helped me. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, it cost me £12.50 and you get 24 hours for £12.50. So I'm okay till 10 o'clock in the morning. Properly buzzing with the view of the church. So I'm going to get some clothes on and a belt. Get ready for me war. So it tells me online that it's an easy walk. And the man assures me it is an easy walk. It doesn't tell you they've got a 1 in 25 hill to get down to get to the war. But we're going in St Andrew's Church, aren't we, Gareth? Yeah, he told us of a shortcut. Yep, he did. Through church, turn left and you miss the hill out. 1 in 25. Will it Wednesday, Dale? you not cheap. Cheese, cheese, cheese. What's that say? Is it Asgarf? Ayasgarf. Ayasgarf. God knows. Go to walk in front of a graveyard. I don't like this. These are old graves. Wow. How old's that one? Is that old? No on it. Just found an old one. 1752. This is a beautiful church. Now that is a cracking church. Wow. It's huge, isn't it? Oh, it's open. Look at this piece of work. So this church is here. The walk's down there. And behind us is the motorhome. Open at nine, close at dusk. Here's a song. Gorgeous place, this. Beautiful. St Andrew's Church. So I filled it in and signed it in, Mum, and I've made a donation for you. Sadly, the Saxon cross was stolen from it in 1966. Oh, no. This church was in such bad condition in 1866 that they rebuilt it. Oh. Leonardo da Vinci had his last supper in this church. And the gravestones outside are more than, well, some of them are more than a thousand years old. So I just want to show you some of these um, stained glass windows because they're beautiful. Look at the detail in these. This is also a grade two listed building. So it's been lovely. And if you'd like to make a donation, they're very, in, they're very modern. You can make one by card if you don't have any cash on you. I always have cash on me for such occasions. This is the memorial for the First World War and the Second World War. How nice is that? It is a fantastically maintained church, this guy's. Fantastic. I tell you what I haven't seen in at least 13 years, 12, 13 years. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I'm not really sorry. Another fun fact, what else did you just find out? I know it off the top of my head, love. Fun. 1506 this church was built. Oh, it is a, a beautifully maintained church. It's even got chandeliers. My mother would have loved it in here. Can I just say, it's not only a lovely and well maintained, it actually, it's a running service church. It's even got the dates up for the Pentecost and the Holy Communions. So this is a proper working church, how nice. I want to find a, a grave, a thousand years old. Oh, what timing? <laughs> Imagine living next door to this. Do you know what I've just thought? Shh, is that the cord? <laughs> this is on the hour. Yeah. That's where our van is. <laughs> you wanting to pay £12.50 for This is going to go night? all night. I hope not. You're not sleeping tonight, boy. We'll tell you in the morning. I sleep for all me, mate. 100% this is a working cathedral. Working cathedral, working church. This will 100% 
go off all night. 1828, I've just seen. So just walking down out at graveyard and I've just realised, see, church got built in 1506 and the gravestones are a thousand years old. That means gravestones were there first and they built the church around the gravestones. I'm recording here for footage. Can you fall down, please? <laughs> Kids at Bomber Hill, little tea shop. Closed at the moment. Visit centre, toilets, cafe, middle falls and low falls, upper falls. Right, done that waterfall. On to the what visitor centre now? Um, I think there's a visitor centre, and there's also two more falls on this flat. That says online it's a flat wall. This is not a flat wall. It looks an ill to me. Oh, Trisha's got a question for you about oh, this. Does anybody know why they're called bluebells? Bluebells when they're purple. There's got to be a reason. Although purple bells don't have the ring of bluebells, but it would have done if they called it purple bells from the start. Put in comments if you know the answer to that one. You lost weight, love. <laughs> it's saying that because I had to put my belt on people, because I'm not intentionally trying to lose weight, I'm more than happy. But they have changed my diabetic med, so I've dropped a bit of weight. Tightened it a bit more, on camera, an extra notch so you could get a bit of footage. Um, we could have packed here. Could have done, couldn't we? So, National Park Centre. Let's have a nosy in there. Two hours three fifty. Oh, from April to March. Fifty-five quid to park here for a year, I'm guessing. Don't say not about no parking on motorhomes here. Yeah it does. No overnight camping. No, oh, nearly got away with living here then. So at one point this wall would have gone right along. And my granddad, me, me and my granddad just go and walk in Ormsy and you climb up and then through them and it keeps the sheep in the pastures as supposed to be in. I know that from when I was a kid. Bear. <laughs> Mint sauce. We've just been here and now we're working up to the middle falls and then we're going to walk all the way up and we'll go to oh, the lower falls. And the viewing platform. The viewing and the platform. viewing platform. There's some steep steps to get to it. <coughs> but 400 yards away from visitor centres, visitor centre, you got that. Did you work out? Yeah, that's If anybody knows what that bird was, I've never heard a bird sound like that, let me know in the comments. This lot, believe it or not, is when we first showed you at the uh, river, <laughs> Leech, that's where it ends up. We're going to attempt going this way over well, wet rocks. It's supposed to be a path further up, so we're going to try up there. Anybody who's got mobility issues, if you use a walking cane ever when you go walking, it's really uneven. I should really have brought mine, but I didn't. It's a bit, the equivalent of a bit of walking on Giant's Causeway, it's really, it's not flat at all. So if you need a stick, bring it. And in business centre, they do uh, four before mobility scooters. <laughs> if you don't want to walk it, you can come with mobility scooter. Just like that, found it. Up the steps to go back. You go for a paddle? Yeah. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we should have brought deck chairs. And a picnic. Oh, there's four up there, look. Yes, we passed them further ones, up, didn't yeah. we? Those are the middle ones, yeah. I don't know how she stumbled on this place, but gorgeous place. I can tell you exactly how I found it. How did you find this place? I typed in waterfalls in Yorkshire because I wanted to see a waterfall. There's not cheers me up there in the waterfall. <laughs> I like water. Well, I recommend this walk. Easy for two fatties like us. 
It's all right, isn't it? It's not bad a walk as I thought it was going to be. Have you enjoyed your walk today, love? I've enjoyed my walk, yeah. It's all these, all these. The trees? Yeah, we could make a raft and go down the river. There's something wrong with you. How are we going to go down the river? It's got waterfalls on it. Yeah, that's the fun of it. I worry about you sometimes, you know. Hmm. Do you not think your raft will fall apart when it goes down first waterfall? No, because I'll make it real strong. <laughs> You'd have to be a little strong to carry us. <laughs> yeah. Aborigines did it hundreds of years ago. Made rafts out of trees and... Have you got an axe? Yeah, my motor home. Oh. We can't make one then. I just to tell you, it is an easy walk around the falls. We're getting up the hills at car park. <laughs> so if you cut through the church people, go down a flight of steps, then you don't have to walk up the road. And the road's worse than the steps, I think. Myself, personally. So thanks to the geezer that gave us that tip. I see me moving home. <laughs> Which means the pub's about here. Found it after some research, uh, looking at photos online. That is a World War I. World War II memorial for the Yorkshire Regiment, which that's the gravestone, I'm not walking through. There's a gravestone there and there's another plaque there, but like I say, it's a bit overgrown in there and I'm not going in. A bit disrespectful. Any family in there of your Yorkshire Regiment, that's off to you. So as we're walking back to the motor home, I found another fact online oh, about on. this church. Okay. Right. Sarah might be interested in this. Oh yeah. I'll have to read this on my phone. Right. There was a certain wedding in 1650 yep. of this bloke, right? And there was a bit of an argument over the wife's. All oh, right. So he didn't know which one to choose. So what he did in 1650, he grabbed all 15 of them, burnt them alive and buried them in unmarked graves. There was witches. Well, he said there was witches. Don't well, mean the witches. That's just what it says said online. Is burnt 15. 15 and put them in an unmarked grave. Is there any hauntings being? Thingy dear, then. I don't. I don't get any bad vibes from this place. So it's, it's just lovely here. I've had a right good walk. Um, and when I get to the top of the hill, there's a tea room, and I'm going to go and have that ice cream. We've been here just walking about, and well, we was walking down and then back up. I'd just like to clarify: this is going off every 15 minutes. It's going off on the hour, the big one. Then you've got the medium one at the half hour, and then you've got a little one at the quarters. <laughs> I might have a look and see if there's a free park up somewhere near here. <laughs> At least we got a thumbnail. <laughs> we did. Woke up in the middle of the night every 15 minutes. And it won't bar me. <laughs> you can have that. By bells. The bow. Amazing what thumbnails you can come up with in it in videos. <laughs> can I tell you in countryside when shop's got the bike outside and it's got a chain on it? Gorgeous little cafe. So we've just ordered a coffee in here. Yeah, so we'll go sit outside in the sun and have a brew. Proper coffee. Look at them bad boys. Oh, oat milk. That is hot. Oh, yeah, look at that, I've got Costa. <laughs> oh, that is a nice coffee. Very nice. Ah, look at the baby sheep. Cheers. Cheers. Is it the only one you're having? Looks like it, doesn't it? So we're two minutes away from home, excuse me. <coughs> Two minutes from car park where we parked. So we asked in the restaurant if we could just have a quick beer in here instead of walking half a mile to the normal pub down the road. So I ordered a pint of Simba and what did you get? One glass of Savignon. One glass of Savignon. That's not bad. <laughs> anyway, I give him a £20 note and I got £5.10 change. £15 for the drink. Although we are, it is a restaurant. Yeah. So I think we may be having one here and walking to the pub. Oh well. Fifteen quid. It's in the clouds. So on to the next pub, because I'm not staying in there for fifteen quid around. We found it, it wasn't even that far to be so fair. We've gone for an half a mile walk and we found the only pub in the village. And once you get up the Earsgarth Hill, where the falls are, it's more or less a flat, flat road, isn't it? Yeah. Quite nice, isn't it? Nice yeah. walk, actually. Ten minutes is tough. 
Yeah, half a mile. Can you, um, in the con- comments, let me know if I'm pronouncing it right? Is it Aysgar Falls? Let me know. I've had a lovely pint of Guinness. Only one I've had. So I just want to tell you about this pub that I don't even know the name of. It's half a mile walk from Arsgar- Argyle Falls. It's a flat road as someone's up the hill though. And I just want to say, this pub is... The other pub was lovely. It's 15 quid though for two drinks. Tenner in here. £10.20 to be exact with a packet of crisps. Two pints. A pint of Guinness and a pint of Black Sheep Lager. 54. But I want to tell you about the pub because it's lovely. The staff are welcoming. And also, we paid £12.50 to park in the car park down the road. I don't begrudge at all. There's like... Especially during the day, there's somebody there watching the cars, watching the motorhomes. Fantastic stop and I think it's worth every penny of the £12.50. Tea room's lovely. In this pub that's half a mile away, and it's a flat walk to get to it, it's free. You just park in the pub car park. As long as you're using the amenities. So, um, and it's a lovely pub. The staff are fantastic. It's a nice clean pint. And the toilets are amazing. And the food looks stunning. And 90% of it's homemade. I just watched them bringing out the pie to this woman. Homemade pie, I can't believe it. So, yeah. And the sell pop crisps. And it's got a five-star food rating. I'm not kidding you, this, this pub's a gem, an absolute gem, and it's black sheep, I don't know if it's run by black sheep, but it's got loads of black sheep in there, and the Guinness is a cracking pint, you'd love this George boy. Get your sense down to my guys, it's amazing up here. So after being in the area for the day, instead of going down to the car park in £12.50, you might as well just park it pub, walk the half a mile walk to the waterfalls, and then stop at pub for the night. Or, you can pay £2.50, park at the waterfalls, pay £2.50, for two hours, go do your look around and everything, or pay £3.50 for four hours, go do your look around and everything, have a nice cup of tea there, see the falls, have a lovely walk, then drive around here, have a nap, then come to the pub, that would be my recommendation, the crisp and onion, and the food's quite cheap as well, but we've already eaten, and also guys, don't forget, if you like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support means the world to us. Your support means the world to us. She loves my two little lasses in the video. She's so jealous. <laughs> so I'm gonna say over and out, good night. It's been a pleasure. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog and if you don't. It was such a clean video until she said that today. Show in the world.